Hi dear students, welcome back to Computer Science class. We have already completed 7 sessions so far and we have 4 more topics to look at. And here the first one is working with accessibility options and last 3 topics are related to general topics, okay? General kind of uh, things like uh, maintain workplace safety, prevent and prevent accidents and emergencies, protect health and safety and work. So let's move on to the first topic. Uh, accessibility options right yes here it is working with accessibility options yes uh, actually what do you mean by accessibility accessibility means getting right so accessibility options actually computer operating system provides us with number of accessibility options actually a computer comes with options for the use of normal people right yes but here we are mainly discussing uh, the kind of options which are available for disabled people or we can say what differently able people okay some are, some are having physically uh, having some kind of problems so at, in computer or in computer technology we have assistive technology okay it's called assistive technology that helps assist what they have that helps what differently able people disabled people uh, to make use of computer in an easy way okay yes so let's move on to the topic Computer accessibility refers to the user friendliness of a computer system for all. Okay, it means user friendliness of a computer system for all, regardless of disability. That means everyone uh, must have or uh, must have what a capacity or uh, a kind of uh, easiness to use computer resources. Okay, this is a main. This is mainly a soft issue. However, a combination of hardware and software uh, it enables a person uh, with a disability or impairment to use a computer. It's called assistive technology. So in this session, we look at uh, mainly at different accessibility options. Okay, that helps differently able people to use a computer very easily or in a user-friendly way. Right? Yes. Actually, there are a number of uh, numerous impairment types. Okay, types of impairments uh, uh, that impact computer usage. Uh, some of them are cognitive impairments. And learning disabilities such as dyslexia, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, that is ADHD, okay, or autism, it's commonly called autism. So, it, I actually, this uh, at current time, we could, we could see all these uh, kind of uh, disorders, or we can say impairments, right? Yes, uh, especially in children, right? Yes, so uh, they could use it very easily, right? Yes, visual impairments such as low vision, complete or partial blindness, or and color blindness, they can also use it. Then hearing impairments including deafness, of course. Then uh, motor or dexterity impairments such as paralysis, cerebral palsy or carpal tunnel syndrome and repetitive strain injury. Okay. So actually accessibility options helps us uh, to make uh, computer resources made available to all these kinds of disabled. We could say this what um, having uh, some sort of problems, right? Differently able to people, of course. Yes. So, uh, accessibility option in uh, control panel are used to customize the way you use your keyboard, display or mouse function. Actually, we are mainly focusing on, with this accessibility options, uh, we do uh, what you may focus on, uh, usage of keyboard, display or mouse function. Okay, yes. Many of these functions helps uh, disabled, uh, okay, in an easy way. Yes. So, actually, we are working with uh, Windows XP. Okay, yes. You could see this, right? Here is the interface. Okay, here is a window. You could see keyboard, sound, display, mouse, general. So, we are working with all these options. Okay, yes. To launch accessibility option in uh, Windows XP, you just uh, go to start control panel. You can say what you, you, you'll see uh, accessibility options. Okay, just click on that. And here the first tab is, of course, what uh, keyboard tab. And you can see what in keyboard tab, first you can see stick keys, right? And uh, you have a what uh, use stick keys. Okay, you can check it. Yeah. Second one, filter keys. And the last third one, toggle keys. So these are the different key, what keys available, in, different options available in keys or keyboard, right? Yes. Stick keys, filter keys, and uh, toggle keys. So we're going to look at all those keys uh, in detail. So the first one is uh, stick keys, okay? Stick keys. What do you mean stick? Stick. Remain. Okay, remain there. Yeah. That's a concept, okay? Stick means uh, remain at a particular place or a particular uh, option, right? Yes. So stick keys is an accessibility feature to help computer users with physical disabilities but it is also used by others as a means to reduce repetitive strain actually it's used for some uh, someone having physical disabilities but uh, normal people uh, normal users are also using this facility uh, to reduce repetitive strain okay stick yes that's a concept 
and it allows a user to press and release a modify key. Actually, it helps a user to press and release a modify key, which are the modify keys shift alter, shift control, and alter or Windows key, of course. These are the four uh, what modify keys shift alter, uh, control, and Windows key and have it remain active. That's what stick is. Stick means remain active until any other key is pressed. That means when you enable stick keys, okay, you can check it. Yeah. Uh, then uh, you just press either shift or control or alt or windows key and it will be remain active. That means it will be just like what keep pressing, keep pressing. That, that's the effect of what applying stick keys, okay, enabling stick keys and it remain active until other key is pressed. Okay, yes. Uh, to enable stickies, select uh, use stickies. Okay, uh, click apply. Okay, then uh, you you will get a uh, an icon like this. Okay, yes, uh, that's a try. Then uh, after having enabled stickies, you you have to practice it, right? Okay, just go to Notepad, uh, start all programs. You know how to take Notepad, right? Yes. Then type some text. Okay, uh, three four lines. Yes. Then uh, place the cursor at the beginning of the text. You just place the cursor at the beginning of the text. Suppose we have three four lines. Okay, in your Notepad, yes. Then press control on your keyboard. Just press control on your keyboard. Actually, we have already enabled stickies, right? Yes. Then uh, we have uh, taken notepad, uh, type three, four lines. Then uh, we have placed a cursor at the beginning. Then we have pressed control key. Then after, okay, press letter A onto the keyboard, on your keyboard. Notice the entire text gets selected. It's like what? Control A, right? Yes. The, ac the action is equivalent to pressing control A simultaneously. Yes. Okay, then to disable stickies, uncheck uh, the use stickies option. Okay, then apply. Okay, yes. So this is how we can uh, work with stickies, uh, which uh, when you press any of the modify keys, okay, alt or cut what um, alt control, then uh, what modify keys uh, like alt control, then uh, windows key plus shift. Okay, when you press any of this, okay, it remains active until any other key is pressed. Okay, yes. So we have worked this done. Stick, okay, remain active. That's what stick is. Then filter keys. Filter key is another feature of Microsoft Windows. Okay, it's an available or accessibility function that tells a keyboard that tells a keyboard to ignore brief or repetitive keystrokes. It's just for filtering. Okay, the concept itself is filtering. Okay, uh, I, I can say one thing. Uh, you can you can define any term, any term, just by knowing the meaning of that word, word right? Meaning of that term. Yes. So here, filter key is used for filtering what repetitive keystrokes. Okay, making typing easier for people with hands on Yeah. To enable filter keys, just like uh, working with uh, sticky keys, okay? Yes, sticky keys, yeah. F uh, filter keys used, uh, check, use uh, filter keys. Then uh, settings, okay? You can uh, check, ignore repetitive key stops. Apply, okay? Click, apply, okay? Click, apply, uh, click, okay? Uh, you get a tray like this, okay? System tray, yeah. Here is a tray. Then uh, you can work with that, okay? Yes. After having enabled, okay? Start not parents and uh, type some repetitive characters. Notice that the repetitive characters, repeated characters are ignored. That's what filter keys. It filters what re repetitive characters, repetitive key stocks. Because we have already enabled that, right? Yes. So you now to uncheck it, right? Yes. Uh, uncheck use filter keys. Then plus what press OK. Apply OK. Yes, it will be disabled, right? Yes. Then toggle keys. It's another feature of Microsoft Windows. Uh, it's an ac what accessibility function that is which is designed for people who have vision impairment or cognitive disabilities okay especially for uh, what vision impairment okay when toggle keys is turned on computer emits sound cues when the locking keys which are the locking keys caps lock num lock and scroll lock actually we have three locks okay uh, what uh, caps lock num lock and scroll lock are pressed a high sound is emitted when the keys are switched on and a low sound is emitted when it, they are switched off that is actually uh, it shows uh, what sound actually okay right yes it's used for what vision impairment uh, people having some problem with the vision okay uh, at the time it, it what emits some uh, some some kind of uh, sound right uh, when it is on it, uh, it a high sound will be emitted and when it is low uh, it low what switched on meaning switched on high sound will be emitted and switched off low sound will be emitted okay yes to enable toggle keys use uh, check use uh, toggle keys at it's a checkbox right you can check and uncheck yes uh, Click uh, what settings under toggle keys. Apply. Okay. Have it, uh, having enabled toggle keys, you can uh, check it. Yeah. Following uh, keys just by pressing following keys. Num lock, caps lock, scroll lock. Okay. You can you can hear the sound, beep sound. Yes. So you can go uncheck it. Yes. Uh, uncheck use toggle keys. Okay. Apply. Okay. Yes. Next one is sound tab. Yes. 
uh, sound tab. Uh, the second tab is sound tab, and the first one was for keyboard. Okay, we have worked with three uh, options. Yes, uh, what stick keys, the filter keys, and toggle keys, right? Yes. Then second is sound tab. Here you can see the second, right? It's already selected sound tab, and here we have one option. Yes, uh, what use sound sentry, right? Yes. So we are looking at this award uh, the sound sentry. Sound sentry is designed to help users with uh, auditory impairment. Uh, what uh, some uh, some problem with uh, what uh, ear, right? Yes. Sound sentry generates visual warning such as blinking title bar or flashing border. Okay. It shows what sound sentry. Okay. It shows sound. Yes. Such as blinking title. Uh, those people cannot hear, right? So it shows uh, like blinking title or title bar or flashing border whenever a computer generates a sound. Meaning, uh, in, in the case of uh, generating a sound, it uh, either blinks title bar or flash border. Yes. To enable sound sentry, check uh, use sound sentry under sound tab. Okay. Then apply. Okay. Yes. Uh, start run. Yes. Uh, for understanding sound sentry, you need to create an error. Okay. At the time, uh, for example, yes. Uh, click start run, type uh, note instead of notepad and press enter. Just type note instead of notepad. At present, I, I, okay. Normally, it will be what. Uh, a complete notepad will be coming, but uh, just uh, try it. Okay, not then uh, it will what emit a sound. Yes. So uh, or type some repetitive characters in the notepad. Notice that the stop will flash an error. Okay, or flash uh, for a fraction of second, fraction of second, along with visual error sound code. Okay. Yes. So you can disable it just by unchecking. Okay. Apply. Okay. Yes. So this is what actually sound sentry is. Sound sentry. Uh, it's it's used for someone having hearing uh, problem. Okay. Yes, auditory problem. So it shows sound. Actually, it is uh, okay in a, like a, what blinking. Okay, blinking cursor or title bar, whatever it is. Yes, you can try all this. Yes, then show sound just for showing the sound. Right? How how do we show the sound? Yes, it's it, it looks pretty interesting. Yes, uh, show sound in in instruct applications that convey information by sound. Convey information by sound uh, to also provide information visually through text captions or in, informative icons. Okay. Through text, either through it shows sound through text captions or informative icons. You can what uh, just like enabling all other options. You can check use sound uh, sounds what show sounds under sound tab. Apply OK. Yes. Then display tab. Select the okay. That's the third tab. Display tab. You can see uh, use high contrast right, and uh, you have options for uh, setting blink rate and beat. Yes. So uh, a window with options to configure accessibility options for display is displayed. Okay. We are setting display. Actually, we have completed both uh, keyboard and sound, right? We are heading to display. Yes, high contrast, uh, contrast is an accessibility feature to assist people uh, with vision impairment. You can change the size and color for of phones, okay? Yes, uh, high contrast use, you can check it, okay? Use high contrast, uh, display tab, apply, okay? Then, uh, yes, you can uncheck it as well, yes. Then we have cursor options, okay? It's it's a commonly used option. Cursor options. Uh, is an availability or accessibility feature that assists people with vision impairment by changing the blink rate and width of the cursor, right? You can uh, change the blink rate as well as the width of the cursor. You can make it big, right? Yes, you can uh, uh, change the blink rate as well, the rate of blinking the cursor, right? Yes, to change speed of the cursor blink, uh, move the blink rate uh, slider back and forth, right? Yes, notice the cursor blinking speed varies. Yeah, to, to change the width of the cursor, you can follow the same, right? Yes, you can uh, move the width. Uh, slider either back and forth again. Yeah? Okay, yes. Then mouse tab. The third one is mouse tab, and here you can see options. Yeah, use mouse keys, right? Mouse keys is an accessibility feature that assists people who have difficulty using a mouse. Yes, difficulty using a mouse and keyboard. You difficult using a keyboard. So here in mouse keys, actually, uh, we have options for using keyboard. Okay, as especially numeric keyboard. Yes, as a pointing device instead of a mouse. Instead of using a mouse, you can make use of keyboard, right? Yes. So mouse tab, you can configure it to enable. Okay, check use mouse keys options. Yes, click apply. Okay, yes. Then uh, use uh, pad keys for number pad keys for uh, moving a mouse pointer instead of using mouse after enabling use. Okay, for example, we're using uh, letters for numbers, not letters, numbers. Okay, use number four to move left, six for right, two to down, eight to up. You can see it's configured like that, right? Yes, four to left, six to right, two to down, eight to up. Okay, you can enable it. You can disable it. Then we have general options. Okay, general tab. Uh, uh, it enables you to configure accessibility options for all users. Select the general tab window will be appeared. Accessibility. Okay, you have for all these options. Turn off accessibility features or I or features after idle for give warning messages when. Okay, make a sound. Yes. 
And finally, we have uh, what serial keys. It's it's another kind of uh, keys which are used for uh, not for a normal disabled person. Okay, it's having high uh, what high quantity not that, not a good quantity. Okay, high strength of uh, disability. Right? Yes. So serial keys is an accessibility option feature that assists people that have difficulty using keyboard or a mouse. He cannot use a word, uh, either keyboard or a mouse or both. Yes. They can use special devices such as zip, puff or breath uh, switches to provide input to the computer through serial ports. Yes. For example, sipping a tube activates one device while puffing on the same tube activates another device. Okay. Yes. So here we, we make use of some devices, extra devices uh, in, in addition or uh, in, in place of keyboard or mouse. Right. Yes. Zip, puff or breath switches. Yes. Um, then you can log on and apply all that. Yes. So actually, it is uh, this serial keys are applied for those who have been, uh, having uh, very very uh, what uh, highly uh, high problem. Okay. Uh, high strength problems. So these are the what different accessibility options. Okay. Available in Windows and we have uh, almost completed everything. Okay. So accessibility options are mainly used for those who are having uh, problems. Okay. Problem using uh, computer. Yes. So now let's uh, move on to general topics. Maintain workplace safety. Yes, it's all about uh, our workplace. How can we ensure workplace safety? Okay, of course, it's a new topic for us. Yes, uh, CBSC has implemented uh, this year. Okay, last time uh, we haven't had it. Okay, yes. So let's move on to the topic very fast because uh, all these are very, very general topics. You know all these. Okay, yes, just for the purpose of exam. Okay, um, just for uh, writing exam uh, only. In that perspective, we are heading to it. Okay, yes. Otherwise, we you know it. You already know it. What it what it is, right? Okay. Then maintain workplace safety. Okay. Uh, basic uh, safety rules to follow at workplace. Uh, just think of your school. Just think of your school as a workplace. School is a workplace. Okay. Yes. Fire safety, falls and sli slips, uh, electrical safety, use of first aid. Okay. Every organization must follow a standard set of safety rules and procedures. Actually, our school got ISO certification, right? And we are following everything. So you could see all those things around the school. Okay, all the all the kind of measures in our school. Yes. So these rules must uh, be stated and displayed clearly at important areas. Okay, it must be shown. It must be stated and displayed at important areas. All the employees must be given a demonstration and training to uh, follow safety rules. Okay. Then uh, basic fire safety rules in an organization. Uh, fire escape plan must be installed at proper levels. Conduct regular drills. That means mock drills. Okay. Maintenance of safety equipment must be taken care of regularly. Otherwise, it may not be working in case of any emergency. Right. Yes. Then falls and slip. Uh, slip safety rules. Okay. Workplace must be proper ventilated. Of course. Uh, floors must be clean and dry. Yes. Oil spills. Dust must be immediately cleaned. Smoke alarms must be placed at proper intervals. Okay. Then uh, keep workplace a non-smoking zone. No smoking zone. Electrical safety rules. Electrical equipment approved must be approved by a recognized organization. It must be uh, what uh, damaged and hazardous electrical equipment should not should be immediately replaced. All old and workout and fray switches and wires should be changed. Heat emanating equipment should be kept away from the electrical equipment. Take care of uh, the outlet circuits or circuit should not be overloaded. Okay. Yes. Then use of first aid. First aid. Actually, what do you mean first aid? It's an immediate assistance provided to the injured to save life and minimize health loss till the proper medical aid or facilities provide. Actually, it is a first aid, okay? Primary aid. That's what first aid is. So, um, just before what taking him or her to the hospital, uh, if uh, okay, we should have some facility for giving the first aid so we can we can minimize the health loss or we can save the life as well. Yes. Then every organization must have first aid box, okay, kid. And kit uh, must have uh, all necessary items. Okay, uh, make sure. Yeah, check. Uh, you have to check it for expiry. Okay, yes. Assure uh, the injured to remain calm and uh, not to be panicked. Of course, you have to take care of that. Keep them warm if they are under shock. You have to keep uh, keep him or her warm. Okay, you have to make him or her warm. Okay, otherwise uh, it, it may be heading to a cardiac arrest or something like that. Yes, and do not move the victim in case of back. Or neck injury, we don't have to take him. Okay, uh, at the time of sports injury, it, it's uh, what um, we follow some kind of rules, right? We will not take him or her directly because uh, that there comes a uh, what application of stretcher, right? Yes, uh, a worker may face occupational hazards at workplace. Okay, so these are the kinds of uh, things. Then prevent accidents and emergencies. 
Accident. What is an accident? An accident is an unplanned event, right? Yes. An accident is an unplanned event that may happen all of a sudden and may lead to unwanted or unprecedented results or outcomes. It's uh, simply we can say what it's an unplanned event that may takes us uh, uh, or means uh, happens uh, all of a sudden or uh, maybe taking us to unwanted unprecedented results or outcomes. Okay. Or it can be defined as an unfortunate event that occurs unintentionally. That's what accidental is, right? Yes. Causing hazardous results of uh, injury or unwanted results. Okay, emergency. What is emergency then? Any unexpected situation that needs immediate attention and action. Right? Emergency means any unexpected events that, see, that needs immediate attention. Okay? That means immediate attention. Why? Because um, attention and action. Not only attention, attention and action. Otherwise, uh, what prison may be uh, in danger of life. Right? Yes. Surely may be in danger. Yes. So, we have to take care of them, of course. Uh, we have to uh, make an attention over them, then we have to take care, okay? We have to take uh, in what uh, sufficient necessary actions, okay? And at the very moment, okay? You don't have to wait for that. You can take them to hospital. You can give, okay, first you can give first aid. After that, you can uh, take them to hospital uh, at the very earliest, okay? Yes. An emergency situation might cause a sudden risk of life, property, health. Yes, <laughs> means health, okay? And needs intervention of uh, people, okay, uh, to prevent. Uh, deteriorating results of hazards. Okay, then types of accidents. Yes, these are some of the types of accidents. Okay, you know all this. Yeah, accidents at workplace, slip, uh, fall, accidents, fire, industry, industrial disease, illness. Okay, road traffic accidents, clinical accidents. Uh, meaning uh, happens in the what in hospitals. Okay, yes. Then sports related accidents, injuries, especially. Yes, workplace ac accidents may include injuries that. Okay, yes, for slip uh, trips, etc. Then a slip and uh, call accidents may occur at any work, any any workplace. Okay, right? Yes. Uh, wrist injury, knee injury, fracture, strain, elbow injury. Okay, all those kind of things. Yes. Uh, an emergency situation is one that threatens the employee, customers, or the public, disrupt or shut down the operation, causes physical or environment damage. Yes, these are the threats. Emergency strategy okay, evacuation. Evacuation means uh, keeping them off, right, off the place. Yes. Fire, explosion, flood, earthquake, hurricane, tornado, toxic material release, for example, industrial, okay, uh, industrial chemical factories, yes. Then civil disturbance, of course, uh, strikes, protests, okay. Then workplace violence, of course. Then handling accidents. It must be handled properly, handled carefully, okay. Yes. Um, without uh, blaming or, uh, yes, others, okay, without assigning blame on others. You, you have to take this reaction, uh, in the case of any accident, first you have to look at them, you have to take, uh, you have to give the first aid, you have to take them uh, at the very earliest to the hospital. That's that's a start, okay? Yes, don't blame someone for the cause, reason, okay? Yes. Everyone must follow SOP. What do you mean by SOP? Standard operating procedure, okay? Standard operating procedure for accident handling. Then safety measures must be placed uh, to prevent workplace accidents, okay? Immediately call the medical team for any injury, stay alert, pay attention uh, to, for, to and follow emergency drills, okay? Mock drills should be uh, followed, yes. Then protect health and safety rule. Hazards and sources of hazards, okay. An organization can face uh, health hazards um, that could put lives of employees in danger, okay. Yes, uh, each and they, the different types of hazards include physical, uh, chemical, biological, mechanical, yes. Then sources of hazard. Uh, provide sub, okay. The work, uh, the work session should be, what? Should provide sufficient space for the users user to alter position comfortably that means it must be spacious yes provide adequate lighting okay adequate lighting must be there in every organization institution have a window fitted with adjustable covering to alter the sunlight level okay uh, okay we can uh, what set the sunlight level right yes be spacious enough when a workstation is shared by more than one people one person right yes display well defined characters of adequate size and spacing have a stable image have easily adjustable brightness and contrast Okay, yes, the display screen should, that's what actually we are discussing, yes, the display screen should display well-defined characters of adequate size and spacing, have a stable image, have easily adjustable brightness and uh, contrast, tilt and uh, swell easily to suit the user, to free from glare and reflections, use a separate base for the screen on an adjustable table, okay, it's all about the screen, okay, the, board, the, the monitor of course, yeah. Then the keyboard should be able to tilt easily. It's all about computer users, okay? Computer users, yeah. Easily and should be able to separate from the screen to allow the user to adopt comfortable working position. 
uh, have space in front of uh, provide okay yes have a match surface have regularly visible symbols on the keys yes otherwise you have to replace it here yeah. the work uh, surface should provide adequate space for the user lower reflective surface adequate size to allow the screen to be arranged have stable adjustable document holder everything should be there okay this can be seen in every every anywhere everywhere otherwise you will have to say it yes then work to uh, work please evacuation evacuation means uh, what releasing right yes emptying yes that's over yes in case of emergency there should be provision of evacuation evacuation is the process of emptying a place uh, in case of emergency disaster okay every company must ensure the following uh, points uh, in evacuation evacuation policy organization must have must have a designated uh, assembly point for emergencies uh, every organization must have an ev evacuation policy right yes uh, someone should be uh, assigned to that yes a body system for individuals okay uh, floor plans uh, with evacuation routes uh, in the work areas assembly areas okay periodic evacuation drill should be conducted okay actually uh, for normal uh, things uh, it's not necessary but for uh, highly sophisticated uh, sensitive areas it should be conducted right evacuation drill yes then healthy living a healthy body has a healthy mind it's a very popular saying right or we can uh, just uh, also right a healthy mind has a healthy body Nowadays we can see what a healthy mind has a healthy body because mind is everything. Body is also everything, but mind controls the body, right? Yes. So we can just change it for the time being. A healthy mind has a healthy body, right? Yes. Healthy lifestyle leads to a healthy being. Healthy living has a fantastic impact on individual, which ultimately yields a healthy environment, home as well as workplace. Happy, healthy worker will always perform best to his ability. So you should be happy. You should be healthy, so your body should be what that good, right? Yes, a healthy lifestyle keeps uh, helps to keep uh, improve uh, people health and well being. Okay, it should include healthy eating habit. You should el el or you should eat healthy. Yes, physical activities, exercises, stress management activities, uh, yoga, then meditation, all this kind of stuff. Okay, then healthy mind, of course, uh, think positive always. Uh, don't go for negative don't go with negative people okay uh, keep away from them yes S sound sleep of course six to seven hours of sound sleep okay yes then goal setting you must have a goal otherwise uh, life goes uh, like an uh, life must not go like what autopilot okay it must not go in autopilot mode because something uh, something should control us right ourselves uh, we should control ourselves so we should have a goal then uh, we should we will go what directed right otherwise we'll be undirected yes a healthy lifestyle takes uh, need practice commitment and sincere efforts of course stay healthy stay happy so this is uh, very much uh, importance uh, this is having very much importance these days right uh, stay healthy stay happy okay stay connected uh, yes so actually you can see ipr resides with nascom you know what I, ipr is okay ipr stands for intellectual property right intellectual property right the NASCOM, what's the NASCOM? National Association of Software and Service Companies, okay? National Association of so Software and Services Companies, yes. Okay, yes, it's a company, what, it's a company um, controls uh, the software and service industry, okay, in India, okay. So these are the topics, okay? Hope you get it. Uh, we have uh, discussed uh, the accessibility options first, then uh, uh, workplace safety, security, evacuation policy, emergency handling, uh, all this kind of stuff, right? And uh, different kinds of uh, problems uh, at workplace and what all things to be taken care of to ensure uh, good uh, workplace safety. Okay, finally, we have uh, uh, gone with uh, what mm, healthy body, healthy mind. Okay, policy, yes. So, I uh, I would say one thing uh, you must have a what um, clear, free mind, right? Yes, so you'll be positive, you'll be uh, positive at the time. Otherwise, what happens is you'll be going with negative, right? So, your body. Uh, gradually your body will change everything will change right your when your mind change your body will change automatically right so uh, always maintain a good balance between mind and physic right yes so uh, stay healthy stay happy okay uh, always uh, keep positive uh, always uh, do good thing okay uh, be productive uh, be do uh, good things uh, great okay at your uh, maximum uh, possibility of course okay so this is all for the time being uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. See you in the next uh, class. Okay. Take care. Stay happy. Stay healthy.